Good morning, Adventure Nation. We've been slacking a little bit on the videos, but today we're taking a little bit of a break from getting the house ready to move out of and getting the RV ready to move into. And we're gonna take you guys out for a quick tour of some of the sight sounds of the Las Vegas area. This is the Motorhome Experiment. We do have to make a quick stop down at storage to the RV. Gotta pick up my drone. And then we'll be on the road and out to what I think is a really cool place just outside of Las Vegas. Hang in there just a sec. to stop because Lori has a headache, but I told her no matter how many pills she takes, I'm not gonna go away. We're currently on US 95 going towards Searchlight. That over there where those little round buildings are, that's a, or it used to be anyways, it used to be an ultralight airport, so they had a lot of ultralights over there. And then this is a dry lake over here, and you can actually boondock there, it's pretty good. Really quiet. And this is on the way down to Searchlight, Laughlin, and all that, uh, all that area. You can see a couple of RVers out there on the dry lake, boondocking. And this is the dry lake here. And you gotta watch, there's quite a, quite a drop off here. But it's super dry right now, which makes it perfect. You can come out with any kind of RV, Class A, or anything out here, and it's pretty cool. Most people park along this outer area, like where the brush starts. You can see now all of the solar going in up here, which is crazy, because that used to be all wide open, but, but you can park anywhere along here. You can park out in the middle if you want, just you gotta be careful when it's really dry out, it's gonna get dusty on weekends because everyone out with their ATVs and their dune buggies and stuff. But it's a great spot to boondock. The only thing you don't wanna do is come out here when it's raining because this will flood and you will get stuck. But it almost never rains here. Now we're off to our next destination, which is Nelson, Nevada. Now Nelson, is about 50 miles outside of Las Vegas, just under 50 miles outside of Las Vegas. And you will know it from a couple of different movies. So we'll get to that here in just a second. This little town of Nelson, Nevada is in the El Dorado Canyon mine area. And at one point in time, sometime I think in the 1800s, it was one of the richest gold mines in all of Nevada. But you can take mine tours here. We're gonna see if they have them available today. I don't know if it's gonna be busy enough down here midweek in the winter to have a mine tour, but we're gonna see if we can talk to them and, and get a mine tour today. And here we are heading into Nelson. Elevation 3,015 feet. There's not a whole lot here, some mobile homes, a few permanent structures, but not a whole lot is left here. There was a movie filmed down here called 3,000 Miles to Graceland. You may remember that movie. There is an iconic shot that was shot from right around in here somewhere. Let me check this out. It would have been somewhere around in here and right down in there where you see the green truck now. See if I can zoom in there. And there's a green truck and you can see the Texaco sign. That is where they did a makeshift gas station and this happened. Let's go for the blow. No. 
Now that movie starred Kurt Russell and it also had Kevin Costner in it as well and a few other actors, I don't remember their names, but this was a, a really cool scene in the movie shot down here. We're now gonna continue a little further past the Tachatacup Mine and Eldorado Canyon down to the Colorado River. You can access it from this road and you can actually rent kayaks from the guys up there and come down here and kayak in the Colorado River. Now this area that we're in here, we're down at the end of Nevada 165, which is down past Nelson, past the Tachatacup Mine, El Dorado Canyon area. This is the very end of the road. There is a roundabout here or a circle, whatever you want to call it. And you're right on the Colorado River. We're about, I, I would think eight, to 10 miles, probably even longer than that, maybe even 20 miles south of the dam and south of Willow Beach. We are on the Nevada side, that's the Arizona side. You cannot get to the other side from here. You have to cross down at the Hoover Dam or the, the new Tillman Bridge. You can't cross here. Absolutely gorgeous out here. Okay, I would show you this sign here and what it's saying but it's all covered in bird crap. But basically it says in September 14th of 1974, there was a flash flood here. This entire area over here was actually a marina in here. This was a marina and this was a boat launch right in here. And there was some camping and stuff up in this area. But in 1974, a flash flood came down through here and wiped the entire thing out. How crazy is that? Like I said, I'll try and show you this picture here, but this thing is covered in bird crap. so. Just nasty. Maybe the Park Service should come down and clean us up. Okay, so what it says is the US Geological Survey said 3.2 inches of rain fell and it created a 22 foot high wave coming down through that canyon. 3.2 inches, guys. We don't see a lot of rain here, so there's got nowhere for it to go. So flash flooding is real here. 22 foot high wave, 38 vehicles, 23 boats, and then all of the boat slips and everything gone in a matter of seconds. I've lost Lori, she's going down there. I'm gonna go get her. Don't fall. I'm at the edge, but I'm not gonna fall. Unless you push me. That's a possibility. See if they get dragged away by alligators. <laughs> There's no alligators. <laughs> So we arrived here at the El Dorado Canyon and we're gonna see if they're having tours of the mine today, the Tchatakup Mine. We also did a event here once for Tony Robbins and we'll talk about that in just a minute as well. Now this is one of those places that if you like antiques, you could film here all day long and wander around here all day long because there are cool objects and antiques everywhere here. Right here where the gas pump is, is where the airplane was for the gas station in the movie 3,000 Miles to Graceland. And this is where they blew up the airplane. Now that scene was probably one of the coolest explosions in movie history at the time. I think that was 2001. The airplane itself is now down here. That is the wreckage of the airplane that was blown up here at the gas pumps. We'll pop down there and have a look at that in just a second. Like I said, this place has so much stuff everywhere. Check out these cool 
Jeep slash, I guess those are almost RV looking things there. There's just antique cars everywhere. There is vans, there's buses, there's trucks. It's just a cool old Texaco sign. How cool is that? Every square inch of this property has something cool on it. Now, to some people it's antiques and it's cool. To other people, it's just junk, but I think it's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Let's wander down to the, uh, to the barn. So this barn right here, we did an event out here for Tony Robbins and his Platinum Partnership. We did this huge party out here and dinner and things like that. And what we did is we converted this barn into a high-end dining restaurant it was really, really cool. And check this thing out. Okay, so what we did with this is we cleared all of this stuff out. Then we put in a platform along the floor to level the whole building out from here all the way back. And once we leveled it out, then we hung sheets across here, black curtains and things like that to hide anything that was that we had cleared up and put away. And then we also had up these stairs, up on the second floor, we put more decorations and, and chairs and things up there and turn that into kind of a high-end lounge. It was absolutely amazing. Now this thing as it sits is really cool, but that night, I wish I had photographs from that. I don't, because it was 12 or 15 years ago, but it was a really, really cool event. Excuse me, sir. There's a VIP lounge. There's a cover. <laughs> now, you notice in that shot that I showed you earlier from 3,000 miles of the Graceland, you can see the back of the house here, the tan spot that in the shot you see is tan building. This facade here has been added afterwards, the wood facade on that. So that's why the building looks quite a bit different from the movie shot, is that, uh, that Old West facade that they've added. A lot of these buildings have been added in after. Uh, this one here was added later. And I think a few of these others as well, as, as some of the ones up the hill as well. What do you think, baby? I love this kind of places. They just have so much random stuff. It's just cool. That building right there is just so cool. All right. Yeah. So this is or we're the gonna go inside. dugout. If you look down here, it goes four lounge rooms down is where we actually were able to stand up and walk. Okay, gang, we're heading inside the mine. It might be the last time you ever see us. Bye. You guys remember Beauty and the Beast with Vincent and Catherine? <laughs> oh, it's a cool shot. All the lights. Mm -hmm. barely see the slot up above us in the mine here and now this thing here would make a really cool RV wouldn't it an old international. Oh man, that thing is cool. I think everything's cool here. That GMC is cool. This is cool. This is cool. Another kind of neat could be RV. Oh, this one we can go in. We got to check this out. Oh wow. It's a clean slate, guys. This would make a great RV. Might take a little cleaning up, but things kind of cool. Take a lot of cleaning up. <laughs> Just one thing after another. Now, if you're into the van life, a Volkswagen towing a Volkswagen trailer with a Volkswagen bug roof. That is cool. Another crazy conversion with a bus on top of a bus on top of a bus. Another great idea if you're looking for a, a different RV idea, gang. That is insane. And let's check out this. This looks like it might be a clean slate as well. And it is. 
Wow, look at the headroom in here. Like you've got, holy smokes. Like serious, like serious headroom in here, guys. Look at this. Talk about, you know, being able to put a second story up there or a second bunk. This is really well constructed inside. This is pretty sweet. Big ass emergency door. That this thing is really cool. Check the lighting out in here. So you've got the you got a big tall skylight here, another tall skylight there. Well, it's right now it's just an opening, but man, this thing has some really just really cool potential. A lot of work. I don't know, 100 grand or so and this thing would be spiffy. It's pretty cool. And here you go, you got your old, you know, picture yourself on Route 66, you're driving your old Ford panel, and then you're pulling your, I don't think that's an Airstream, I don't know, maybe you guys, one of you guys might know what kind of RV that is. Obviously extremely old school, single axle. Let's see if it's got any emblems anywhere to tell us what it is. Let me see here. Go around this side. Got your plug on the outside there. Looks like really up to code wiring, which is nice. Let me see what it says here. Anything? Clark County, Nevada says it was registered as a trailer. I don't know. I don't think it's ready for prime time though. But, uh, you know, kind of cool. And here it is. This is the plane from the gas station explosion from 3,000 miles to Graceland. I'd be interested to know in the comments if anybody knows what kind of airplane this is. I, I don't know. I think maybe the vertical wings on the back, on the elevator, those vertical pieces on the elevator might give it away. What do you think, guys? If you maybe look, you know, here on the on the elevator part of the wing, he's got this vertical area there. That might give away what type of airplane this is. Very interesting. Very cool movie prop, but obviously a very cool airplane as well at one point in time. That is slick. Right now, I'm gonna go back to the car and we're gonna get a bird's eye view of this place. All right, so we are going to close it out here for today, guys. But before we go, we have a big announcement. We have a big announcement. <laughs> and Lori, go ahead and tell them. We sold the house. The house is sold. It is in escrow and we are ecstatic. All it took was that right couple to walk through the door and the right couple did. And we want to congratulate Justin and Christina for picking up the house. It's a great house. We wouldn't leave if we weren't going to embark on this little bit of a journey. We love it. We love the house, we love the neighborhood, and we love our friends and family in Las Vegas, but it's time for us to kind of do something yeah. a little bit different. And just to let you know, last time we told you that we have an offer, we were in San Diego, and actually that offer fell through, so it didn't go through. Right. This was like a random couple just looking at the house. They were actually in front of our house just trying to look at it from the inside. And Paul saw them and just let them inside the house to see it, fell in love with it, put an offer. That was a Sunday, Monday put an offer, Tuesday we counter, Wednesday we have a deal. So it was that quick. Yeah, it, it was it was amazing. So we got back from San Diego a little depressed, and uh, because 
the deal had fallen through and then somebody else walked through the door and this couple's really neat and, and really loved the house and we know that they're going to love it as much as we did and some of their ideas that they're that they've been expressing to us of what they want to do to the house are things that we probably would have done so it's mm -hmm. been very very cool talking to them so absolutely ecstatic the yes. house is sold it is on full-time rv living is happening we are going to hit the road december 16th and remember we told you guys that the indicator that we're full-timing is when we cancel storage well we already put our 10 day notice and we're out i mean it's like there is no coming back <laughs> yeah storage has been canceled yes. so again as of december 16th we no longer have anywhere to put the coach so that means we have to live in it and uh, we're done. So full-time RVers we are. That's about it. I wanna thank Tony and Bobby Worley and their family, Shauna, for giving us a tour of the mine. We've been out here to Chattacup Mine Company for the afternoon. We've had a great time. The, the mine tour, guys, it's really inexpensive. As of the time of this video, it was what, 12 and a half bucks? Yes. It's worth it. You need four people. Bring four people out. Come and see the, the tour. It's really it's cool. cool. They give you some history of the area. Uh, it, it was a, an old mining camp, like a, a men's camp where they came and did mining. And it, it's, just a, it's, it's just a neat, it's neat to learn about the history in an area that you're visiting. And especially some of the crazy history in this area here. It's pretty amazing. And not only the history, a lot of shows and movies have been shot here. So it's kind of cool to see the actual places where they have been shot and just to relate it to the movie. So that's kind of cool too. So yeah, come and check it out. Right behind us here, you see this this post. If you if you see the movie 3,000 Miles to Graceland, you're going to see that to chat a cup thing that established 1861. With a pump right about where we are yeah where where the truck is is where the plane blew up really really cool stuff so you get to see all that you should come out here it's only 50 miles from vegas so it's a 45 minute drive out here and so, it's really yeah. really cool if you're not into gambling you want to do a day trip from vegas this is a short day trip i mean it's pretty cool to see and you're not it's not all about the strip. You also have this kind of stuff. Yeah, there are some things to do outside <laughs> of gambling in Las Vegas. And, and this is one of those cool things. Very, very close. So again, gang, uh, thanks for watching. We appreciate you guys being here. It'd be great if you liked the video. Make sure you subscribe so you can stay up to date on all the other stuff that we're doing. We're going to be doing a whole lot of video in the next little while. And we want you guys along for the ride. So really appreciate that. And uh, anything else? Full time is on. He's like, and I'm having butterflies in my tummy. <laughs> yeah, and one more thing. We're really close. We're, we're only a couple hundred away, guys. As soon as we hit 2,000 subscribers, share this stuff with your friends. As soon as we hit 2,000 subscribers, we're going to do a little get giveaway, and we're going to start doing that on a regular basis as we get more and more subscribers. And just as so. a thank you, as an appreciation thing. So. Absolutely. We love you guys. Thanks. Bye. Bye. All right. I know you're freezing. Let's get out of here. <laughs> You didn't think I was going to forget the camera, did you?